Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. In this video series, I will be solving tough engineering mechanics problems. If you want to watch more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. Today's problem is the 120 Newton force is applied as shown to one end of the curved wrench. If alpha is equal to 30 degrees, calculate the moment of F about the center O of the bolt. Determine the value of alpha which would maximize the moment about O. Calculate the value of this maximum moment. In this problem given is a curved wrench like shown in figure and various dimensions also mentioned here. So a force of F equal to 120 Newton is acting at point A and angle between force and vertical is alpha. So we need to find the first portion of the problem is we need to find a moment due to F about O when alpha equal to 30 degrees and second portion of the problem is we need to find alpha for which the moment due to this force F about O will be maximum and we need to also calculate the maximum moment about O. Let us see in the coming slides how to solve this problem. Now let us see first portion of the problem where alpha equal to 30 degrees. So a force F equal to 120 Newton is acting at point A at an angle alpha from vertical. So its vertical component will be written as F cos alpha and its horizontal component F sin alpha. So moment due to these two components about O can be written as F sin alpha into this height plus F cos alpha into this distance. And these two forces will create a clockwise moment about O. So now let us see this distance from here to here is this radius is 70 mm and from here to here it is 150 and this radius is 70. So the total distance from O to A the horizontal distance can be written as 70 plus 150 plus 70 that is 290 millimeter. Similarly the vertical distance from O to A can be written as uh, this length from here to here is 25 millimeter and radius is 70 millimeter and this radius is 70 millimeter and this height here is 25 millimeter. So total length from here to here is 25 plus 70 plus 70 plus 25 that is 190 millimeter. Now let us take moments uh, moment about moments about O due to these two forces. So M O equal to F cos alpha into 290. So F cos alpha this component into this distance plus F sin alpha that is this component into this height that is 190 millimeters that is that is written here. So F cos alpha into 290 plus F sin alpha into 190 since uh, positive sign is written here because these two forces will create uh, clockwise moments about O. So after simplifying this after substituting alpha equal to 30 degrees and simplifying we get M O equal to 41537.7 Newton millimeter. So to convert this into Newton meter we need to divide this by 1000. So the value is MO equal to 41.54 Newton meter. Now let us see second portion of the problem. So alpha for which moment about O is 0. So for moment uh, about O to be 0 we need to differentiate this equation moment equation that we have seen in the previous slide with respect to alpha and equate that to 0. So this equation MO equal to F cos alpha into 290 plus F sin alpha into 190. So after differentiating this and equating that to 0, we will get 0 equal to minus F sin alpha into 290 plus F cos alpha into 190. So differentiation of cos alpha is minus sin alpha. Differentiation of sin alpha is cos alpha. So after simplifying this, we get alpha equal to 33.23 degrees. So this is the value of alpha for which moment due to uh, this force F about O will be maximum. To find maximum value of moment about O, so MO max, let us substitute the value of alpha that we have seen in the previous slide that is 33.23 degrees in the moment equation. So after substituting alpha value and simplification we get MO max equal to 41603.8 Newton millimeter. To convert this into Newton, Newton meter, we need to divide it by 1000. So MO max equal to 41.6 Newton meter. 
that's all for today's video if you like this content please like share and subscribe thanks for watching